In this video we're going to look at how to change the topics of your Moodle course and have a little discussion on how to organize your course. In my mind there are two main methods of organizing and I'm going to show you an example of each one and you really need to make a decision on what direction you want to go because that's going to guide everything else you do. I teach two courses. One is a government course for upperclassmen and one is a modern world history course. That one's for freshmen, so I choose to organize them a little bit differently. For my government course, I try to organize it as much like a college course as I can. So it's set up in modules rather than units, uh, which allows the students to work a little bit more at their own pace. They still come together for projects and assessments and group activities of that sort, but the individual work that needs to be done, uh, they could really do that at their own pace uh, as long as they know when their big stuff is coming. So this is the module setup. The other setup is the more traditional unit setup, and this is what I do still with my freshmen. They still follow the textbook a little bit more closely than the junior government class does. The unit setup is exactly how you'd expect it, with a section for each unit. You can even get more specific and have topics uh, that are broken down for uh, more specific things. So you may have one topic that's unit one, and then below it you may have another topic that's all of your vocabulary. Let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. If we go down to my unit 5, I, I had everything for unit 5 and then I also created a topic for exam review materials. In this unit I actually made videos to uh, review each question uh, that they were going to get uh, for their essay questions before the test and they could uh, review those videos before the test. So once you've made the decision which one you're going to go for, then how do you actually organize it and how do you actually edit it? For this, I'm going to take you back to my government course since it's a little bit newer and a little bit less cluttered. And we'll turn our editing on for the first step. Now, I already have one, two, three, four. I've got five topics already in use. And then I've got a sixth and a seventh here for module three and module four that are ready to go, but I haven't. Uh, edited those, I haven't uploaded those yet. So when we turn our editing on a couple things pop up. First thing you'll see is this little gear. This is your setting. So that's how you change the section name. When you change the section name I got really frustrated when I started doing this because I kept trying to type, type, type and I couldn't figure it out and then I finally figured out you had to click off default section name and then you can type in random section Name. Now, I don't want to actually change this, so I'm going to cancel, go down there. You will also see these arrows. This is how you move your uh, topics up and down. So, for example, uh, if I wanted to make topic 8, let's say I want to make this a module 1 assessment review. Uh, I don't need a summary. You can type one if you want. You can restrict access, and I, I can uh, say I don't want any students to be able to see this till August 13th. So all kinds of options there that you can play with. Okay, so now we have changed Module 8. It's now Module 1 Assessment Review, but it's not where I want it to be, so let's move it. We do these with the arrows. This is not the greatest aspect of Moodle because you have to do it one at a time, but it'll get you there. But this really shows why you want to make sure you plan everything out as well as you can so you don't end up having to create something at the bottom of your Moodle page and then take 10 minutes moving it up to where you want it. Okay, so let's check to see if I got a Model 1. Okay, and then below it I have Model 1 Assessment Review and that's exactly where I want it. A couple more options that you can see. If I don't want students to be able to see this yet, now we're starting Module 1 tomorrow when all the juniors get here, but let's say I don't want them to see module two. This eyeball right here, uh, it can hide the topic. So if I click on that, now students can see module one, but you see module two is now kind of grayed out. So they can't see that anymore. You can also tell that slash through the eyeball. Module three, module four, I can do the same thing. I don't mind students seeing my class, so I don't click that, but that's another option for you. In the next video, 
we'll start looking at how to upload different types of things, different documents, different videos, and we'll look at some of these edit toolbars and add activities and add resources there. But until you get an idea of how you want to organize your course, a lot of that's just going to kind of be messy and you're going to have to come back and edit it. So I really suggest taking a, a day or two and really thinking about how you want to organize this. Maybe map it out on a piece of paper. That's going to save you a lot of headaches down the road.